Hey, this is uh, Daryl, and uh, we're going to tie the, the final CDC fly uh, in this series that Frog Union Waters on Monday nights have been uh, coaching us through, and I'm going to tie it the way I interpret uh, the material list that they've provided, since I don't know really how they plan to teach us, but uh, let's take a look at it. It's the uh, smoke jumper. Now, first off, I apologize. Uh, this is a size 18. I'm guessing that's what they're going to have us tied on since they, they like to tie on small flies. But uh, this is it. We'll explain the materials as we go along. And uh, it's going to be a challenge, at least for me to get you guys to see it, I guess. This is an emerger that we're going to tie. It just kind of sits in the surface, subsurface, or in the foam, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm going to be using actually uh, Green Caddis Outfitters, a, uh, their Czech Nymph, nymph uh, thing. It's a little lightweight hook. Um, a 2x short so it's a little shorter than maybe what we'll be tying in but uh, anyway so the the recipe that they have is calling for a yellow olive I don't have one that looks quite olive in nature but I, I'm going to use a light yellow in here and uh, and there so we'll just start our to keep it for about an eye width back and you're going to find that using these emerger hooks or scud hooks um, they're a challenge because you got to keep shifting the materials um, next I'm going to put in some silver and fine wire that off with my wire cutters and uh, I'm going to go ahead and tie this in. Try, I'm going to try to steer it towards the bottom of the hook And then we'll kind of work the, the thread back and forth to try to get a, a taper. Which just means, you know, we go up and back and forth, but maybe not all the way back to where we started to give it some kind of a taper. And then once we have that taper there. I hope you can see that. We're uh, going to counter wrap this like it's four or five times to uh, and trying to keep them evenly spaced. This silver rib. That's three. And four or five is normally the traditional or the advised um, number of uh, turns. Kind of like the industry standard you can say. And we'll break this off.
And then we're going to use some uh, CDC puffs in white. And um, they're not as big as the other CDCs that we've been using. And that's, that's the reason why they're called the puff. It's not very big. I'm going to take some of it off. And I'm going to tie in the fluff part is at this end towards the curve of the hook. And that's the little stem there. Pull that forward a little bit and we'll lock it in. And we'll trim off this part. Now we're going to put in our thorax. And for that we're going to use some uh, peacock curl. And uh, I'm going to grab some of the short ones here. Two or three pieces. I'm going to trim off the brittle part of it. And we're going to give this like three or four wraps right here. maybe two or three. Don't want to crowd the eye. And that's why we use a couple in case we get a break. Break off there. It's not cooperating too well for me. And then I had another one just break. Next we're going to do is we're going to fold this over. 
but we're not going to secure it very tight. And I got to move that, like I said. not very tight. And then we're going to take our bot little needle here and we're going to try to lift up on that. And what that's going to do it's going to create some bubbles, air bubbles when it's going going in there like it's a merger. Just need to lift it just a little give it a little head and I'm gonna give it a half hitch here and I'm using like 10 odd thread Now I can whip finish. And there we have it. The smoke jumper. Hopefully you uh, found this easy to tie. I struggled a little bit with them, but uh, but anyway. All right. I hope you uh, found that that interesting, and uh, you can tie that anywhere from a 16 to a 18 or 20 and I tied it on an 18 in the middle range of that So hopefully I'll have us they'll be tying it more on a 16 maybe even a little bit bigger um, so I Hope you find it good Tie up a few of these they're fish catchers That's for sure and uh, we'll be seeing you on the water